Hello and welcome guys. Today actually we're going to talk about a little bit of different orders we can place like limit order, market order, stop limit order or OCO order on Binance exchange. The layout here is a little bit different uh, because it's a desktop layout in, in your computer or laptop. You're going to see it like this way, like your candle charts, your order books, your open orders and your place orders all together in one screen. But in a mobile phone, it would be a little bit different. You will only see like your order book and your place order in one screen. And if you want to see your candlesticks chart, you need to click on that uh, candlestick button which is kind of on the top right side of your place order screen anyway you know what i'm talking about today we're going to talk about different kinds of order we can place the first one is the easiest one and the simple one it's called market order so you click this market button and then you enter the total value whatever value you want to buy it for say for example if i have 1000 usdt I will just simply type in 100 or 1000 or whatever USDT and then you press buy sushi and it will just place this order and the order will be executed straight away at whatever the market price is. For example, it's going on at 17.568 at the moment and by the time I press buy this order, it could very well go up or down so whatever the price would be at that very particular moment that price you're gonna get on your buy order or if you're selling something then you can do the same thing like market order and you sell it all right now the limit order is a little bit different uh, instead of uh, whatever the market price is we actually put the price ourselves manually uh, right like at the moment the price is 17.546 or 555 like it's increasing and i wanted to sell my sushi at 17.600 for example for the sake of this tutorial now what happened is whenever the price reaches to 17.900 i'm gonna sell all of my sushi at this price i'm gonna get like 29.46 dollar and if i just press sell sushi as i just did here in my open orders it placed an order right there at the top sushi usdt and the price is 17.900 amount all of it and uh, it's gonna give me that much of uh, usdt now what happened is it's it, it is gone into my open order books and it is a limit order and it has gone into this order book as well it has not sold yet because the price it's it haven't it the price has not reached to 17.900 now let's talk about stop limit order the moment you click the stop limit order you will have an extra box here called stop like in the limit field there was only one box which was price and one box was like how much amount you're selling but in the stop limit order you have extra box here which one is called stop another one is called limit and the amount box is the same right now to my understanding what i understand is like the binance stop limit is it has two differences from the limit order the first one is when you place your uh, stop limit order it does not go into your order book straight away it goes into your open orders but it does not go into the order books right so the other people can't see what the order has been placed right so that is the first difference the second difference is instead of a just one limit price we put another price called stop price say for example if this price is 17.544 and i do not want to get any loss and i think if the price drops down to 17.544 Point zero zero. I'm gonna sell it now. If I put a limit order, so for example, if I put a seventeen point zero zero and then sell all the sushi, it's gonna sell straight away because this price seventeen point zero zero is already met. So the condition has already been met. So as soon as I hit sell sushi, it's gonna sell my sushi at this price 
so for a lower price we cannot set a limit order right because otherwise it's gonna get uh, sold straight away but if i put this stop limit order then what it is it will give me an extra box so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna in this top box i'm gonna type in a figure where i want to kick in my order right so i'll put in 17.100 right and here i will put 1700 now what happens is if i press the sell button here sell sushi it's gonna place an order for me but it's not gonna be an active order it's gonna be a dormant order right now if i press this button here now it's asking me a confirmation like i am am i sure like when the price reaches this it's gonna sell this and it's gonna sell at this price and that is what i'm gonna get and it's a stop limit sell order yes i'm 100 sure so press the confirm now the now the stop limit order it is showing in my open orders but it is not an active order right it's not in this order book and uh, what happens is when the price is gonna hit this 17.100 then my stop limit order it's gonna become active you understand that when the price reaches even lower to 17.00 it's gonna sell my order right and the benefit of the stop limit order is say for example as I, as i told you before if the market is going down and you don't want to lose out much money on your uh, particular coin so you put a stop limit order if the price is dropped down below this price i'm gonna sell this order i'm gonna sell this coin right so that is the idea of stop limit it's only gonna sell when the first price reaches to this price 17100 it's gonna become an active order it's still not gonna sell it but it's gonna become active right and then if the price even lowers to 17.00 then it's gonna sell this order and you're gonna receive your usdt or btc or whatever the pair you're using or whatever currency you're using right now you might think why would i sell my coin at a lower price price i have bought it from it's called stop loss the reason you want to put a stop loss order is if the price gets down dramatically say for example if this coin's price dropped down to 15 dollars or maybe 14 dollars and you have not placed a stop limit order or a stop loss order then what's going to happen is you've bought it at 17.6 dollar and the price of this coin has gone down to maybe 15 or 14 dollars and if the market is not moving and it stays that way for a few weeks maybe a few months then all of your money you've put into this coin it's stuck in that coin right you're not gonna lose it but it's stuck there you might have to wait for a few weeks you might have to wait for a few months or it might come back up again in a few days you know that is the beauty of the cryptocurrency now in real scenario whenever you're gonna put a stop limit order or stop loss order it's normally five percent below your buying price if i bought this coin for 17.6 then i will put my stop loss order like about five percent less than 17.6 which is gonna be about 16.8 or something so what i can do is i can put the stop price at 17.00 and the limit price would be 16.88 now this is approximately five percent of this actual price so i can i can bear the five percent loss on this on this order rather than my whole money gets stuck in that coin for maybe a few weeks or a few months if the price gets lowered i cannot put two orders for one particular coin because when you put one order maybe it's a limit order or a stop limit order the asset it gets locked so i cannot place another order like a buying order or a selling order for the same particular coin so in a real world scenario i will put five percent stop loss of 17.6 right so i bought it at that price i put my stop at 17.00 i put my limit price and i'm gonna sell all of it and then press the sell sushi now this one again it's gonna give me a confirmation now this is my stop loss the real stop loss right so if the price hits at 1700 17 dollar this orders this order is gonna become active and if the price gets even lower and hits 16.88 my order is gonna get executed and i'm gonna sell this order for 16.88 at five percent loss yeah but the benefit of it is i will receive my phone back see if i have spent 5k or 2k or 1k on it 
I will receive it back with the 5% loss. I can put that fund towards a different coin, which is moving, right? So that's how you put the stop loss order. The last and the final order is called OCO order. It's the best of both worlds. Basically, if you say it, it's the best of the both worlds. OCO stands for order cancel order, right? When you put an OCO order, it plays two orders for you. One at a higher price and one at a lower price. Like it automatically puts a selling order at a higher price and a selling order at a stop loss price, right? And if the price gets lowered and it hits your stop loss it's gonna sell that stop loss order and it's gonna cancel the other order the higher price one right and if the price goes high it's gonna execute the higher price order and it's gonna cancel the stop loss order are you with me right so that's why it's it's called order cancel order now in practical what's gonna happen this is 17.6 Five, seven at the moment right and i wanted to sell it at 21 dollar, right if the price hits at 21 dollar, i'm gonna sell it right so what i'm gonna put here the first box is called the price box so i'm gonna put 21.00 right and then the bottom two are exactly the same as it was with the stop limit order you remember in the stop price we're gonna we're gonna put a price of 17 0.00 and in the limit price we're going to put 16.88 and amount i'm going to put 100 right now what's going to happen if a price goes up to 21 dollars it's going to sell our whole sushi to this price and we're going to receive back 34.56 right but instead of going up if the price has started going down the market dips down right and the price lowers towards 17 dollar our order is going to kick in it's going to become active order and if the price even gets lowered to 16.88 it's going to sell it at 16.88 so that is our five percent stop loss remember that and this one is our target price so that is the target price we're going to sell it in profit right so we bought it at 17 we're going to sell it at 21 and then if i sell sushi now if you look in the order book it has placed two order now right so that's the beauty of oco the limit order puts only one order stop limit puts only one order but the oco order it placed two orders at the same time these both orders they are not active at the moment right only the top one is active the limit order the bottom one is a stop limit order it's not active yet right so what this means is if this price it's going higher and higher and eventually it reaches to 21 dollar it's gonna sell 164 sushis and we're gonna receive 3456 3456 right but if the price started to go down then this is our stop price it says here trigger condition now the trigger condition is if the price hits 17.00 then this stop limit order it's gonna become active and if the actual price hit 16.880 then this order is gonna get executed at 16.88 and we're gonna receive 2778 dollars right oco order is absolutely peace of mind you bought a coin and then you put a higher price as well as a lower price so you covered both ways if the price goes up you sell it at your higher selling target price right and if god forbidden price has gone down at least you're covered that way like you're not going to get that much loss so you're only going to get about three four five percent loss and you sold it as well and you receive back your usdt so that's how you do it limit market pussy award now if you have any questions or uh, if you have any feedbacks uh, about this you can always leave your comment or ask me directly uh, the links are down below thank you very much